what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well and welcome to today's Chelsea news video. Where we're going to be talking about two Chelsea related stories. Well, actually, one Chelsea related story that's out in the news, out in the media. Something that was spoken about on an article that I read that I want to talk about. Certain players there, spoiler, defenders. And over in the richest corner of the playground, Newcastle are eyeing up Maurizio Pochettino. Highly rated former Tottenham Hotspur boss that Man United quite fancied. Could he go to Newcastle? What would that mean? Dunno, let's just get into that. Some exciting stories to dive into today, so let's do it, but after a quick reminder to you guys to subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. And I'll tell you why I remind you, most videos is because most of you watch the videos, but you're not subbed. Why not help a brother out by just clicking the little button, subscribe, and also that bell notifications icon, because that's important. And then, you know, that admin helps me out a lot, and then you can like the video, support the movement, all right, let's get into it. It. So a little teaser, the player we're talking about today, which you probably got from the title and thumbnail, is David Alaba, or David Alaba, or whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it. The defender slash fullback from Bayern Munich. Incredibly highly rated, of course. And you know what? I think the perfect Frank Lampard player, reputable journalist, has been talking about how Chelsea are actually very interested in this player, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But first, I want to talk about defenders generally. Chelsea have a bunch of defenders, but the cohesion and chemistry in the back line has not been great. Therefore, Chelsea need a little bit of a shakedown, probably a bit more of coaching rather than so much personnel change but Football.London published an article, a keep sell article on Chelsea's defenders. In this article, Oli Harbour talks about each defender individually, and he says keep all except two. Now, the two he said to sell were Emerson Palmieri and Andreas Christensen. Now, if Chelsea are going to bring in the centre half, they'll need to sell one. You can only really have four centre-halves, like playing starting level centre-halves to rotate between competitions. So it would kind of be one out, one in sort of thing. So when it comes to him selecting Christensen to sell, I probably disagree with that personally. I think Christensen is an incredibly talented centre-half, very, very good ball-playing central defender. The biggest and only criticism of Andreas Christensen, in my humble opinion, would be he's a little bit lightweight, but the way the game is going at the moment, you can afford to have one technical, sort of a light-footed centre-half that can play long balls, quickly release the ball, you know, to whether a fullback or a central midfielder. And he's quite decent at long ball distribution as well. Personally, I think he's really highly rated, and I'd like to keep him out of the four. I think he wouldn't necessarily be the one to go for me. But like I've always maintained on Football Therapy, you can make a case for every single one of Chelsea's four centre-halves at the club at the moment. I mean, they all make mistakes. None of them would have been amazing. They've all probably had a clangor in them this season as well, but you can make a case for all of them in terms of ability. But at the same time, I wouldn't particularly cry for Christensen. I wouldn't particularly cry for any of the centre-halves that Chelsea sold. I'd be like, oh, well, they're decent, but they want to sell them, fine. But maybe Christensen has the most value. Who knows, that could be the case, right? He could probably bring in the most money. I think he's re fairly recently signed a new deal. He's young, he's highly rated. He obviously played well at Gladbach. They wanted to keep him. He played well under Conte, uh, Sarri, yeah, Lampard. So maybe he has good retail value, so I get that, fine. But really, when it comes to the halves, it's difficult to me to comment further. So I'll leave that to you guys down in the comment section below. And when it comes to selling the left backs, yes, I guess Emerson Palmieri over Alonso, purely because Alonso has a lot to offer as a left wing back. And if you're stuck and you need someone to score a goal from left back or, you know, a free kick from the right-handed side of the pitch, Alonso's your boy. He's got too much utility maybe to give away. Obviously he signed a new deal relatively recently as well. And Emerson, although he was the player that everyone preferred at the beginning of this season, at the end of last season, he's dropped off and he's never really found this synergy since. So, you know, if Maurizio Sarri wants Emerson Palmieri and Chelsea can make a few quid on him, bring in a different left back, I can strangely just get behind that now. So that's the situation with the defenders, which means one way or another, Chelsea are going to bring in one, maybe two defenders. And I'm including a fullback and a centre back in that sentence. We know the situation with the left back, Frank Lampard wants Ben Chilwell, Chelsea have been negotiating for Alex Tellez, who looks like he could be going to PSG, depending on where negotiations are at the moment, 
But Spanish journalist slash reputable journalist Guillaume Balaguer has been talking about David Alaba. For the last few years, regarded as like one of the best defenders, dynamic, well at the time young defenders in the world, David Alaba is a sort of plays anywhere in the centre back position, can play left back, can play left wing. He is an absolute bad man. The Austrian is only 27 years old, so he is very much in his prime at the moment. And really, he's only suffered game time this season because of the emergence of the quite frankly explosive looking Alfonso Davies at left back for Bayern Munich. Chelsea know all about Alfonso Davies, he absolutely tore us apart in the Champions League, yeah that guy. Now although he hasn't completely benched at David Elba, he has obviously sapped loads of game time off him and in his prime at 27 years old, he's not happy with that. Guillaume Balaguer is saying that Chelsea are very interested in watching what happens with David Elba because they would very much like him at Stamford Bridge. I think this would be an excellent signing. He was like top, top tier Galactico level fullback, 27 years old in his prime, can slot in, do bits. You know, we're talking about Alex Tellez the same age. David Alaba, for me, he was like, you know, really, really highly rated up there. And like I said, the versatility to play anywhere along the left flank and center back as well. He'll be able to put crosses in, combine, score goals, go up and down, he's incredibly quick, defend well really really good recovery pace so if you put him and Tamori in together a centre half those guys are gonna get back quickly aren't they? Personally I like it. I don't know how Bayern Munich would feel about doing business with Chelsea Football Club at the moment. I don't know what kind of relationship they would have had anyway prior to the Callum hudson Adoy ordeal. I think Chelsea were very very upset with how Bayern Munich behaved in that sort of saga while um, you know when they were courting hudson Adoy. so I'm not sure they've got a relationship to strike a deal but if they are trying to flog Alaba in a time where the buyers might all be struggling for cash if Chelsea float up and say we will take him off your hands mate here's some money money can often heal wounds right so watch this space David Alaba is a Chelsea target or certainly someone they are thinking of so say if reputable journalist Guillaume Balaguer so I'll keep you guys updated on that situation now final story not directly Chelsea related but I'm enjoying keeping tabs on what is a gargantuan story in the Newcastle takeover loads of political <laughs> incentives and I don't know people against this move for many reasons you know the Qataris, the Saudis all involved, uh, just fan bases, politicians, all sorts. For my money though, I reckon this will still go through. The Premier League will love the money injection, love the interest from around the world. I think it's bound to happen. And apparently they are looking at Maurizio Pochettino. And to be honest, I'm not surprised. And also, I think Maurizio Pochettino might go for this. I think he might enjoy the Newcastle fan base. I think he might enjoy just generally see the mystique of Newcastle. Um, it's a one club city. I think genuinely it could be attractive. He'll know there'll be investment in the club eventually, but he'll know he'll be required to do some building up until the point where they can have real, real, real cash injection in terms of the you know top competitors in the Premier League. I think the project probably suits Maurizio Pochettino really, really well, more so than the likes of Max Allegri and the, you know other people they've been linked with. So it's kind of really interesting, and that's another like thing that makes you think, right, so they're going to be the richest club in England, now they've got Pochettino. Whatever your opinion of Pochettino is, you have to concede he's an excellent coach, developmental coach, and he will get them to the top again. Can he win a title? I'm not so sure, but if you know, Maurizio Pochettino turns Newcastle United into a top six team and then they start buying good players, you know, then if he doesn't do it, you bring in the top, top tier coach to make them try and win a Premier League title. Crazy, isn't it? It could happen. Anyway, I'm going to be keeping tabs on that story as well, but let me know what you think. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on the stuff I've said in this video. Let me know about centre-halves. Let me know, would you like David Alaba? Would you play him at left-back? Would you play him at centre-half? 
Get down in the comment section below and express yourself. And if you've enjoyed the content I provided to you today, why not like the video and of course subscribe if you're new to the channel. And remember that I am doing daily, that's right, daily live streams over on Yan's Yard for FIFA 20 Chelsea career mode. We've just completed the first season. Epic, epic story. You can go back and watch each episode as well. You don't have to watch it live. But I go live every day between 5 and 6 for about an hour or two it's getting really interactive i'm really enjoying playing with you guys you're helping me out so make sure you do come and subscribe to yan's yard link in the top of the description all right then that's it from me enjoy the football that's not happening and i will see you later you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck i'm gonna get it how i'm living i'm gonna walk the walk outline my lines i rap through thought body bag the verse outline the chalk in my life seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle, yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble, I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me back.